Hey folks, how's it going? It is Wednesday, hump day 23rd of July, and um, I want to give some thanks for some uh, music that I've received, uh, a late birthday present from David McCarthy. Um, I also just have to say that um, I will be seeing um, a, at a dental clinic in early August this tooth is about to um, come out, so I mean, it really is impacting the way that I talk. Um, it was an injury, folks, that created, made these teeth um, so vulnerable. Yeah, they got pushed forward while I was lifting something up. They literally got pushed forward and out. So this tooth is about to go. It's all pushed forward. Just anyway, I'm saying that's why my speech is compromised but David McCarthy um, BC friend over in Ireland is so kind to um, send me a birthday present including a, a very nice card and very nice words also explaining the music that he sent I think I'm showing everything here he sent me two CDs Nanu Nanu Unit One. It's kind of an electro pop thing. Uh, this I've only listened to just a little bit, not all the way through. Um, it's pretty decent. It's uh, I have to come back to it. You know, it's like it was like okay, this is kind of interesting. You know, there's a slant to it. Um, a particular audience seems like it's kind of a fashion sort of or a you know, an audience that's aimed, has a target audience that's going for it. The other CD that you sent me, David, that I love is Alison O'Donnell. Um, she was the singer in the band Mellow Candle. I don't have the vinyl. I have the music on a CD. Hey, Hey, Hippie Witch. And this is something she do, did in the last, what, 10, 15 years? I really like this. Folk rock, I um, I, just, I like it a lot. And you sent me one piece of vinyl and a nice, interesting um, collectible piece from Ireland. I, I also appreciate that that what you sent had an Irish, you know. And as you said, sending you some things that, from Ireland that maybe I wouldn't see otherwise. So I really appreciate that. Which leads to this 12-inch. Um, single only a hundred made looks like they're lace cut to me looks like they've been cut individually a tribal sort of thing it has two um postcards or prints they look like photographic prints prints thread pulls you melt words five eight rhythm here is the name of the um record it's kind of like public image, um, very um, stripped down. Thread Poles is the name of the uh, group. And um, it's, it's real primitive. And so it's like um, kind of hypnotic. And you just kind of just let it go and go with it. I would say the most the thing that I really appreciate about this is the uniqueness of this particular piece of vinyl for my collection. No doubt I would not <clears throat> have come across a copy of this had it not been for you, David. So thank you very, very much. And for the card and the uh, CDs as well. Folks have been kind and I um, re received today a package from Harold in Singapore, BC member. And um, he said he's gonna send me some music, first some compact disc, then some vinyl. The compact disc came today and very, very pleased with them. Two um, metalish bands that apparently are from Singapore. Again, this is great to be introduced to music and to have these artifacts, music I would 
very most likely never own otherwise. This is a band called Inuka Anno Domini. This one I listened to the least so far. It's got a female vocals and um, this one kind of struck me as okay this is kind of so-so but the other one was more impressive Rudra RTA I think is the name of the band Rudra is the name of the band and um, this is metal I like this one first listen the other two were even more impressive this one, what it sounded like was was a surprise because you can't tell by the cover because it's just this young girl kind of a cheese, I guess that what you call a cheesecake sort of um, poses. And it's called Midnight Hot. I tried to look this up on the internet and all I found was pictures like this and some references to sites like this. But the music on here is uh sounds like lo-fi recorded jams kind of um loose psychedelic jams but pretty cool actually i hadn't listened to the whole thing so it's like it's it's hard to tell like um where this was coming from and you know because the packaging seems incongruous to what i hear or at least ways the first track i didn't listen to past the first track here so I might be in for a surprise, but this was cool. The other CD is very, very cool, uh, including the packaging, but the music is great. Um, the band, well, I'll show you the packaging, and it's called To A Far C Cry From Here. comes in this really nice um, textured pa paper flapped box. So nice, Harold, man. You open it up and again, it comes in this nice, it's got a band that keeps it shut and then nice packaging. It folds out into, uh, there's the disc and um, I've only listened to a little bit, but those are the lyrics and then on this side, when you fold it out, this is wonderful packaging. Some nice artwork. What is the name of the band here? This is good. The Observatory. A far cry from here. Progressive. This is, um, wow, it's like I'm really going to be getting into this. It was like, whoa, this is a discovery. This is way good and very fitting, deluxe, art, fully done packaging uh, to go along with the music. It really is very, very fitting. Harold, thank you so much. David McCarthy, thank you so, so much for this music, these gifts. I have so much to um, absorb over time. And like you other collectors, we do collect to the point that we can't really absorb everything that we buy, quite a few of us, even that we just get. <clears throat> I've talked to a few folks about this in recent times that, um, you know, it is an obsession, so you always want to get more, but it's impossible to hear everything, you know, and really absorb things. But we still, here we are, and we love it. Um, along those lines, another VC member, David, uh, I'm going to say his name, David Rittenhouse. Very kind to send me this very collectible album. He showed it on, on one of the Facebook groups, and, you know, I kind of gobsmacked because it's one that's on my want list. He said, I'll give it to you. I was like, what? Celeste. Celeste. This is an Italian progressive rock band. The, the keyboard sort of classically oriented but super tasty this is a Japanese pressing it's not the first run but it's the second run of it from 1981 there's no obi and the inside goodies none of those are there but the album is in great shape and I have it now on vinyl thanks to David and this is a 
been a grail want of mine, and it's really good. It's not just a because of a thing, it's because of the music. Excellent Italian progressive rock music. So this just came today. People are so kind and just I just love it. Thank you, thank you all so much. Along those lines, last night, um, I'm going to grab it right quick. I had a show. I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and I had a show last night in Lincoln, which is about um, 60 miles away. Um, oh, my band, Sun Ambulance who are really sounding good these days, we uh, were on the bill with this up-and-coming uh, artist, Natalie Prass. And we played on the bill with In Tall Buildings and Sun Ambulance. And uh, I really enjoyed the show. Um, I didn't buy her album because it's not the sort of thing I'm going to be playing. And I do, if I had money to burn, I would have. But it was great to play on the, the bill with her. I did spring for a single by In Tall Buildings, because that was five, and I, I did want to uh, get something. In Tall Buildings is Eric Hall, who is also um, in the band Nomo, you know, Afrobeat band, who I have also seen in the past. His This was completely different from that, very um, ethereal. Um, um, yeah, big and ethereal. So that's uh, some more music that I got. And I just, Natalie was really nice. Hung out with the her, got a picture um, with her. I couldn't see with my glasses. So unfortunately in the picture, I'm smiling and this damn tooth is hanging out of my mouth. But um, got a picture with her. You know, I mean, I love, I love doing that. You know, getting the selfies with people that I see, artists, everyone, you know. But uh, especially with artists that I work with and meet. I love to get the pictures. I was informed of more. I mean, it just goes on. I mean, that's just the way life is, unfortunately. But more folks, artists are passing that I'm aware of that I can pass on and talk about. Um, if I can find the album here, so I can show it to you. Susumu Yokota. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, electronic artist Susumu Yokota just passed. I only have one album. I'm not seeing it. I hate when I can't. It should be right here. Um, is this it? I think so. No, that's Tom York. But um, I was just informed by another VC member that um, Yokota just passed, which is unfortunate. I only have one album on vinyl. But his work is really neat. Um, he just passed away, and uh, one of the guys from the band Negative Land, I've got one of their albums. Um, it might be hard to find. I want to. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's like that's just, this is out of order. Okay, I knew I had one Susumu Yokota album, Grinning Cat. He just passed away. That's life, but it's like, man, just every time you turn around, you know, more musicians that we really dig. Let me just go ahead and pull this, because it's just right here. Yeah. Negative Land got the most publicity ever when they put out um, a single sampling U2. I mean, just really <laughs> sampling the hell out of U2. But culture jamming is um, a term that they use for the way they use sampling and sound before sampling was de rigueur. Negative land. So one of the main guys here. Let me see if I can um, see his name. And th can't think of it right now. But um, I don't. I can't remember from uh, seeing which guy it is. But May all these folks rest in peace, you know. Um, just passing that on. It's almost like, you know, um, I 
it, it does kind of just seem like it's become part of like part of um, what people let me know, you know. And um, several people have said that you know many of these artists they hear about it first from me, you know, and and some people say that's a, you know a small comfort, even though it's no comfort, but. It is my obsessive nature. I've always been like this, where I'm looking at the news for news, music information. And so obituaries are something that usually leap out like, you know, they leap out right away. And, you know, I, as soon as I hear about it and, it and I'm able to confirm it as much as I can, then I share it. Speaking of sharing, um, I'm about to, or maybe by the time this video is up, um, about to hit 9,000 subscribers. Um, it's hard to say thank you enough to, or I would say I'm thankful that 9,000 different times and more, more than likely, someone has subscribed for whatever reason. The subscription, we don't know what it means when a person subscribes, but as an individual, the way I take it, and I imagine the way many people take it, it's taken as an affirmation of what of, of what you're doing, who you are, and so um, 9,000 people subscribing is an honor, and thank you. You know, I really am just, um, you know, a basic broke down human being like everybody else. I have my strengths, which I do try to share, but as my teeth, for example, show, you know, I am human, and I have my my uh, shortcomings, you know, I don't take care of things the best that I can, you know, I try to, but, you know, we all have our uh, stumbling blocks, we all have our in inconsistencies, and our idiosyncrasies. I am in basic acceptance of all of mine. I um, face the reality that I cannot be perfect. There are imperfections that need improvement there are things that I do well that continue to need improvement. But I keep reminding myself through what I've learned and continue to learn from what seems to be higher knowledge, which is it's important for me to accept it all, to see the as much as possible the entire picture of myself as well as what's around me, deal with it all, but see the entire picture of the self and accept it. And if it's unacceptable, then make all attempts to change it. That's, those are like my core values. You know, that's, you know, as I've gone through life, the things that keep rising to the surface for me are those, um, is that, you know, is to be honorable to the self and therefore pass that honor on to others. It seems to me, again, and that's the best way for me to, to express it, is it seems to me that's the only way that I can offer anything is what I know. I can't, I, I don't think I can substantively offer anything that is just a front although it's done all the time and a lot of things happen and people's lives are impacted to the point of life and death by fake front behavior and acts but 
that's not how I choose to go, you know, mainly because of what I see, you know. So, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Um, again, as I say, well, no, again, not as I say. Just thank you. Starting to get some ideas for a recording project that could turn into vinyl, which will involve some fundraising and pre-ordering. I may be having the first meeting about it uh, tomorrow with some musicians. This one is going to be with one of the groups that I play with. I'm going to keep it that. I'm going to keep it like at that point so far because I need to talk further with the guys and then see about setting it up, setting up the recording sessions. But um, I think it's time for me to uh, do something with some of this um, wild psychedelic um, improvisational playing that I'm doing that I think some of you people would really enjoy listening. And we just need to just recapture capture some of these things. Okay, again, thank you. And if I'm forgetting something, and I am probably forgetting something, just thank you again. <laughs>